In this tutorial, we will cover Convert Shape to Path and Simplify Path. We will discuss the effects of converting a shape and the uses of Simplify Path. Trying to use the Point Editor tool on shapes created using the Rectangle, Ellipse, Star, or Polygon tools allows you to edit the special properties of each shape, but it doesn't allow you to edit individual points that make up the lines of each shape. To edit these points, the shape must first be converted to a path using Convert Shape to Path. To convert a shape to a path, first select the shape using the Point Editor tool. I'm going to select this star shape. You can see that there are only two blue points on the star. These allow me to edit the special properties of the shape, in this case, the height of the star points. Once we convert a shape using Convert Shape to Path, we will no longer be able to edit the special properties of that shape. For more information on shape special properties that can be edited using the Point Editor tool, see the Point Editor tool tutorial. Once the shape is selected, click Convert Shape to Path located in the Flyout Side toolbar. Select the shape again. Now we can see the individual points that make up the star. Each of these can now be edited independently using the Point Editor tool. Simplify Path, located here in the Fly Outside toolbar, reduces the number of points on a line. This can help when you want to make edits to a line but don't want to move each point on the line individually. Simplify Path can only be used on a shape with an open path. For more on how to create an open path, see the Open Path tutorial. For example, let's look at this heart shape I created. It may not look like it, but the tip of this heart is an open path. If I zoomed in really close, you'd be able to see that the start and stop points are very close, but they aren't actually connected. Because this is an open path shape, we can use Simplify Path. You can see that there are plenty of points that we could edit. In fact, there are too many. By using Simplify Path, I can reduce the number of points to a more manageable number. I'll click on the Simplify Path tool now. A Set Threshold window will appear asking for a threshold number. The higher the number, the more points Simplify Path will eliminate. We'll set this to 3 and click OK. You can see that many of the points have been eliminated. By using Convert Shape to Path, you can gain control over the points of Shape Tool shapes. By using Simplify Path, you can reduce the number of points in a point-dense shape. In the next tutorial, we will discuss the Add Point and Remove Point tools.